Good evening. Tonight I'm going to be pointing a $1 million telescope at a sextuplet star system. That's right, this solar system contains not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six stars. Which means the aliens that might live on the planets orbiting around it get to see six sunsets every single day. Eat your heart out, Tatooine. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. Now, astronomers can be a bit weird when naming and identifying deep sky objects. Don't get me wrong, some of the times they are bang on the money. Case in point, the Horsehead Nebula, or the Sombrero Galaxy. And that's exactly the case with our next wonder here. This is the Whale Galaxy. Now I don't know about you, but when I think of whales, I think of calm creatures that are overall quite soothing. Which is why the whale galaxy might come as a bit of a shock, because unlike the more common spiralling shapes we are used to, this galaxy is viewed edge on and can be seen to be severely warped. It has been stretched out and then battered and bruised by the gravitational force of a nearby galaxy. As you can see here, it's actually very close to the crowbar galaxy and the appropriately named Hup galaxy. Despite being a relatively unknown galaxy by many astrophotographers, the Whale Galaxy is an excellent deep sky target. It proved easy enough to make out detail and colour by using the Seastar S50, whilst a million dollar remote observatory emphasises the supernova activity radiating from this galaxy's abnormal core. Meanwhile, Hubble, our billion dollar space telescope, has captured a panoramic shot of the galaxy, which when viewed close up looks strikingly similar to our very own Milky Way. Is it the most beautiful galaxy in our night sky? Perhaps not, but it's certainly unique, much like the Sombrero Galaxy, and that's why it earns a beauty rating of 70, a power rating of 78, and a mystery of just 48, giving it an overall wonder rating of... 65. And at 35th on our wonder wall, this does mean that the Well Galaxy was the lowest ranked wonder left on our wonder wall, and therefore the only way from here is up especially since we still don't know what is our number one wonder of the night sky. Could it be our next one? Let's find out. Well, maybe it could be our next wonder. This is one of the most beautiful wonders of the entire series, and for serious amateur astrophotographers, it's one of the first targets that any of us get printed and framed. Here is the North American Nebula. If your goal this year is to take beautiful images of our night sky, then this star-filled landscape is one of the ultimate deep sky targets. Located high above during the summer and autumn months, this nebula can be found within the constellation of Cygnus along the band of the Milky Way. When viewed for a telescope, you can see thousands of stars as well as the faint outline of the nebulosity. I think I first came across the North American Nebula when I was simply pointing one of my first telescopes straight up and I couldn't believe how many stars there were. When it comes to imaging, Nan, which is what Izzy has nicknamed it, has varying levels of beauty. In the brand new Seastar S30 Pro's case, it images in broadband colour and picks up on the red hues as well as the hot blue stars, making for an incredible image. But when using the Million Dollar Observatory, things start to get unbelievable. By imaging with narrowband filters, the distinct colours made out turn Nan into a cosmic masterpiece, somehow making this 2D image feel three-dimensional. Whereas the Billion Dollar Telescope utilises both visible and infrared views, revealing 
all of these young stars that were otherwise invisible behind the cloak of a thick dust cloud. Now that you can see behind the cosmic curtains, there are even more stars than ever before. I think the North American Nebula is fantastic. It's a really good beginner astrophotography target that gets better and better the more skilled you become, which is why for me it earns a beauty rating of 88, a power of 60, and a mystery of 65, leading to an overall wonder rating of 71. At 27th on our wonder wall, the North American Nebula makes for a very nice target image during the summer autumn period in which it appears directly overhead. Even with short long exposure images of about 5 seconds, you can still reveal thousands of stars within this nebula. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an exciting development to the official 42 Wonders of Our Night Sky giveaway. That's right, the prizes have just got even better. Thanks to ZWO, one of the runner-up prizes of a Seastar S30 has been replaced with the latest and greatest Seastar S30 Pro. This telescope is now available for pre-order via the link in the description below and capable of capturing stunning images like these from the comfort of your back garden. As always, all you have to do to be with a chance of winning one of these stellar prizes is leave a comment on this video stating what your own personal ratings would be for each of today's wonders. That's it. It is free to do. You don't have to tag five friends and share this to your Facebook page. Just let me know how you feel. You have 14 chances in total to enter into this giveaway. That's once per episode. The closing date for entries is the 31st of January. Best of luck. And now for our final wonder of the night. This is a multiple star system known as Mizar and Alsor, which was used as an early eyesight test for astronomers back in the day. For me, one of the coolest sounding things that you can observe in amateur astronomy is a binary star system. There are hundreds that you can pick out with even an amateur telescope. Now whilst Mizar and Alsor aren't the most colourful binary star system in our night sky, they are infamous for their naked eye distinguishability. Well, there's a made up word for you. <clears throat> Historically, it has been a very important measure of a person's eyesight. To ancient Arab astronomers, Alsor was known as the forgotten or the neglected one, and spotting it was considered a mark of keen eyesight. In medieval Europe, some nicknamed the pair the horse and the rider, or the test star, which is basically the same idea as the ancient Arabs. If you can see both of them, you pass the eyesight test. This all seems rather ironic now. Since we've developed the popularised use of telescopes and measuring instruments, we now know that Mizar and Alsor are actually part of a sextuplet star system. That's six different stars all orbiting one another. When viewed for the $500 smart telescope, you can make out Mizar and Alsor. The Million Dollar Remote Observatory actually utilises a wider field of view and in doing so shows how much bright brighter these stars shine than their neighbouring stars. Whereas for the Billion Dollar Telescope, this image wasn't actually taken from space, but it was captured from the ground using extreme adaptive optics and a coronagraph to strip away Alsor's glare. Revealing a hidden companion, proving this familiar double star is actually part of a six star system. It's impossible for his casual observers to see all six, but thanks to the hard work and clever thinking of professional astronomers, we can learn the truth behind this overcrowded stellar neighbourhood. It's an object our ancestors have looked up and marvelled at for millennia. Two stars for the price of one has always been alluring, and now for us amateurs, it proves to be even more than that. For me, Mizar and Alsor earn a beauty rating of 64. A power rating of 77 and a mystery of 82, giving them an overall wonder rating of 74. Now as cool as living in a sextuplet star system sounds, it would actually be extremely chaotic. I know the sight of six different sunsets every single day sounds really special, but my hunch is there are no intelligent life forms that could survive on any nearby planets orbiting any one of these stars simply because it would be too chaotic. Nevertheless, it makes for a very interesting target and a great naked eye test to see whether or not you'd be fit to be an astronomer.
And would you look at that, we only have six wonders left on our wonder wall to reveal and we still yet to find out what is the ultimate wonder of our night sky. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you again next week. I'm Damon Scotting and this was Astronomical. Coming up on the penultimate episode of the 42 Wonders of Our Night Sky, we explore the almighty pillars of creation, as well as how to spot the Needle Galaxy and the spellbinding Rosetta Nebula. which means the aliens that might live on it get to see six sunsets every single day. Eat your heart out, Tatooine. Could it be the ultimate wonder of our night sky? Let's find out. My name is Connie, and this is Astronomical. So in Star Wars, the planet- Okay, carry on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one, okay.